Hey guys, this is Ted with another uh, Ted Tutorials. Um, today we're going to be talking about how to use the web browser uh, Google, which is a popular web browser, and um, it's very useful for you know gathering up information, different um, different about different things, a lot of different things on Google. So um, great. So the first thing you want, the first thing you want to do is you get you got to get got to go to Google.com, and the way you do that is you go up to uh, the space bar, your space bar up here, and um, well, I'm, al I'm already at Google, but in case you aren't, what you can do is you can delete that, and in my case, I just press G, and Google comes up uh, because I go there so much. But if you have never been to Google.com, uh, then then you probably wouldn't come up. So what you want to do is, in that instance, you want you can press a HTTP, uh, colon backslash backslash www dot uh, google which is spelled g o o uh, yeah g o o g l e dot and you just throw a little uh, dot com at the end there and then you press uh, enter or return and great so it takes us to google which is where that's where we were uh, before but um great so <clears throat> now now we're at google and you know again we need to put an, in the google space bar here we need to put an input and then Google is going to give us an output. So our input, let's say you're looking for information on um, like uh, presents for step mom. And you go ahead and hit, hit enter there. Or you could press uh, this. I don't want to go too fast. You could press, uh, okay, well, now it's gone. But if you write something in like present, presents for step um, or step mom, step mom. You could also press this button here. This blue button is your search button. That's a mic. That oh, so that's when you search by voice. But we don't we don't interested in that right now. So you could hit the blue button or return or enter whatever your thing has. Great. And so now here's our output. Um, Google's given us an output, and we have a lot of information here. Very useful information. Someone on Yahoo, which is another, which is a separate web browser, and that's something that's great about some uh, for Google is that they kind of will kind of cross pollinate between different web browsers. And so it does, you know, it doesn't, it's not exclusive to anything that's just on Google. It'll still search things that's on Yahoo or uh, Ask Jeeves or, you know, any of your, any, any of the popular, um, any of the popular web browser websites. So, so here, so someone on Google has asked this question, are you a good present for my stepmom question mark? And so you we can press on the blue bar and that'll take us to, great. So that'll take us to this, this useful page, right? Yahoo answers right now. Um, and so this guy, um, I I O Cirx O X has asked good present for my stepmom. He says, "Hey, I'm trying to think of a good pre and you can read it." But so he's looking he's looking for the same thing, just like us. And then we have an answer here. Uh, and this guy recommends um, this guy Jess, or it's a woman maybe uh, Jessalyn recommends um, uh, restaurant gift cards. Uh, and then a lot of other people can wait you wait weigh, weigh in here and they give their opinions, and that's really that's really useful too. Uh, this is all really useful information, so you know you can kind of scroll down, see what like you know Jen Cadence said and Sarah and all these different people. So uh, probably get a lot of great ideas this way. And that's just you know that's just from one of the outputs. So let's go back to and the way you go back is you just press this back button here. It's not um, it's not um, you know that's that's all you got to that's all you got to do. Uh, sorry, and then you. So for so okay great so now we can go to option two which is on cafepress.com, uh, wickedstepmom.blogspot.com is probably not what we're it's kind of probably, probably not what we're looking for. Um, evil stepmom gift ideas question mark so you know that's that's probably like that's more of a specific because that's more of it and that's why it would be down here on the number six or seven it's a little bit more specific than what we're looking for. Um, but great so you know. Um, you can find all this great information. Uh, let's check out this guy, Cafe Press. So gifts for stepmom, unique stepmom gift ideas, Cafe Press. Great, so now we're on stepmom gifts. Oh, awesome, so let's add this to our cart. That looks pretty cool. Um, great, and you can just go ahead and click. Great, yeah, so now we're here, and um, we can just kind of just purchase all these different things. And, and now we got a bunch of great t-shirts. Uh, this is a Bigfoot Tracker t-shirt. This is a great, great t-shirt for your stepmom. You know, so we'll add that to the cart as well. Um, select the size. Okay, um, we'll do uh, four extra large there. Add to cart. Uh, great. So great. So now it says. So then you know what Google does here is 
we're it's given us other options. You know, if you like the Bigfoot Tracker T-shirt, you know, you might also like, um, you know, this bacon T-shirt. Uh, but I think two items is, is enough for our set month right now. And, and what's great about Google is they give you a discount. So we have a five, you can see here we have a five dollar and one cent discount, which is great. Um, so let's go ahead and, and check out, and you can see here proceed to check out, or we can pay with PayPal. Uh, so let's go ahead and we can we'll pay with PayPal there. Uh, and PayPal is a great website that you check out my separate. I have a separate tutorial of how to use PayPal. Uh, it's not, it doesn't seem to be working right now. So let's just go to. Um, Okay, so so what's happening here, guys, is you see this little, this when this circular thing is happening, that means that Google is tired and they're and, he's, and it's not it's not going to give you the information you want as quickly as you want it, but it's still going to give you the information. We're, we've made it to the checkout, so great. So let's go ahead and put our name in, Ted, uh, United States, of course. Um, um, to five. Uh, so, you know, one of the things that you guys can do here is just kind of put in your put in your uh, personal information. Uh, and it's really important, you know, that you pay with a credit card and make sure you put your credit card number in down here uh, as, as, you know, as quickly as you can, because you don't want somebody else to make the purchase before you and then all of a sudden you don't you don't you don't get the the present so great so now we have uh, we have all our information there we have our credit card information we have the expiration date which is correct uh, and we go to submit uh, my order so now we're another step closer and uh, oh okay so it looks like we right so it looks like we did some they probably probably know about my credit card did some things wrong that's okay um, so we just we won't worry about that for now this is not this is, was not part of our search. This was uh, I was on this. I was here earlier. So great. Now we go back to Google, and I just want to show you guys something because this is the kind of the roundabout way you, you can go about um, finding a gift. Is you know, let's say you put. Um, uh, well, that's not. All right. Um, nope. Great. So I'm feeling lucky, and I'm feeling hungry. There we go. So we press this, and and great. Now we get ePlay Williamsburg food for. You know, and this gives us a lot of different restaurants. And you might be asking yourself, well, why? You know, why do I want to? I don't. I'm looking for a gift for my stepmom, but you know, these places could be great to get a gift card for though though that place for your stepmom, or maybe I don't know. Maybe the restaurant has uh, the gift there already. Maybe you go check it out and. You know, you go to the tre the trellis uh, restaurant, and maybe they have an idea. So, um, so these are just great places to eat, um, and there's about ten pages of them. Also, just heads up, this is not how you spell Google. Just I don't want you guys to get confused. Uh, I don't really know why Google does this. Oh, I guess the different O's correspond to a different page. That's kind of advanced. I don't want you guys to like worry about that too much if you don't get that. But yeah, in the end of the day, Google is just G O G O O G L G O O G L E. Great. So, um, so that's what we did, guys. It's Google.com. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, it's pretty intuitive, pretty user friendly, pretty uh, not. It's pretty, you know, it, it, it's not hard. So, uh, you know, and if you have any interest in like advertising programs or business solutions or you know, um, whatever, there's more buttons down there that you can press. So basically, that's how you use Google, guys. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Uh, I have a, I actually have a Google. Uh, email address which is uh, Ted uh, Ted Ted's tutorials and that's with no apostrophe so just TED TEDS tutorials at uh, google.com and just if you haven't asked any questions about today's tutorial any other of the previous tutorials too that's fine too I can answer those too and um, join me next week uh, when I will be publishing my tutorial on how to navigate uh, through youtube.com which is another very popular website um, that, that you can that that you can uh, go to and here's uh, oh we should check this out but um, okay so that's how you use Google uh, and and go ahead and, and check out YouTube.com tutorial next week thank you this is Ted's tutorials and I thank you for watching.